Now, please welcome Gina Fong, who was selected by the graduating class to be the 2023 Laven Good Professor of the Year. Recently, on a rideshare to work, a complete stranger gave me a gift. However, it was not a gift I could touch or see. Three Fridays ago, I was traveling to an unfamiliar neighborhood in the early morning for a special work project. Sometimes my rideshare drivers are chatty. Sometimes we barely exchange a word. That morning, I was greeted by a driver with a mile-wide smile who practically sang my name as I climbed into the back seat of her car. Little did I know that that complete stranger would give me a gift that morning. My students know I am obsessed with the art of gift giving. As a consumer anthropologist, I pay attention to what people need and want to help companies make better products and services. It's a practice that I believe parallels that of gift giving. Understanding another person so deeply at their core that you can surprise and delight them. And while an insightful gift can be a physical item you love, it can be a product feature that makes your life easier, it can be a gesture, a note, or something that someone says at just the right moment. I believe giving someone an insightful gift is one of the most human-centric acts we can do. A meaningful gift can build connection and emotional closeness. On the flip side, a less than thoughtful gift can leave one feeling misunderstood. So Kellogg graduates, I want to remind you of the transition that will take place once you leave this university. You will transition from a place of knowledge to a place where you must understand others in order to be successful. And understanding others is an emotional art. So how does one master an emotional art? Practice these three things. Number one, boundless curiosity. Enter someone else's world and wonder without judgment. Don't get mad at people, get curious. People may not make sense to you, but they always make sense to themselves. <laughs> Number two, eager listening. Don't argue, don't teach, don't sell. Listen to understand, not to reply, defend, or correct. Number three, profound empathy. Find a personal connection that allows you to see the world from someone else's point of view. Advocate for them in a way you would want for yourself. As for my ride that morning, my driver noticed my hesitation when we arrived in an unfamiliar neighborhood, not a soul in sight in the early morning. And she said to me, I will wait here for you until you are safely in the building. This was a gift I could not see or touch, but it was a gift that I could feel deeply. This was a gift of understanding. But that wasn't all. Because we entered each other's worlds for that 30-minute ride, we realized that we had more in common than just two people working early that morning. When she discovered I was a teacher, she happily announced that her son was graduating in a few weeks. When I asked from which school, she proudly replied, Kellogg. I teach there, I exclaimed. She asked, will I see you at graduation? And I chuckled, you probably will. So you Barry, I know you're out there today, and I want to thank you. 
I want to thank you for giving me the gift of understanding. I want to thank you for leading with boundless curiosity, eager listening, and profound empathy. And to these Kellogg graduates, I hope you will remember to enter other people's worlds and understand them. Your loved ones, your customers, even complete strangers. Remember to give the gift of understanding when you can, as often as you can. This is what makes us human. Thank you.